Okay, so just a quick video with regards to setting up a Facebook comment growth tool, but specifically on a post which is not on your Facebook page timeline. So what people sometimes call a dark post, essentially it's just a post that you're advertising, but that does not appear, appear on your Facebook timeline. So this is how to actually find that. So we'll set up, we'll go through the process of, of doing this and you need your Facebook ads manager to get there so new growth tool and we will select the uh where are we facebook comments just as normal right now a couple of things setting this up i normally just make sure it's first level comments only so that it's not every time someone comments on it they get the same message over and over again um send the message immediately basic sort of stuff so select to post now, what will happen at the moment, this is from my uh, other business page, this is my Men's Transformation page, so you'll see there, these are the, the posts that appear on the on the page itself. But actually, we don't want one of those posts. I want to show you something which never appeared on the page. And I'm going to go into Ads Manager for that, and I've just already pre-selected um, one of these. Now, what people tend to get confused with is when it says to post your ad ID in there, People think it's this number here, which it isn't. And what we're going to do is you need to hit links. And I find that if you click on this manage Facebook comments, what's going to happen is you'll get another tab open up, which is for the advert itself, which is there. Now you see this here up at the top. What we need to do is copy this number at the end. So if I just copy that, then go back to my growth tools and up here at the top. So instead of selecting one of these, so I could select any of those adverts and hit select, I'm going to paste that number in there, hit select, and there we go, there's the post itself. We need to confirm that it is uh, going to contact users who come via Messenger. And that's about it, that's just that's the point I want to get across with regards to selecting that post. Now, uh, if we go on to next, obviously you need to be aware that there are rules and regulations. Set up your auto response with that one. And as ever, I would recommend that you uh, edit this part of it so that it's sent to everyone who replies. Edit your opt-in message so it's, it's quite specific to what you're trying to get people to do. And you are away. Make sure it's active at the top. And we're done.